chances you've already seen Morgan Benoit and Mike Carpenter many times on your small screen are really high. The thing is, you've seen these men without realizing it. Carpenter has been Jared Padalecki's stunt double for a long time, and Ellis's stunt double when the show was being filmed in Vancouver for seasons one and two. Then, Morgan took the job, and well, when you notice a stunt double at a show, you know the show simply messed things up. Season five had no job to show Morgan Benoit, but they did. Here's the scene where Ellis's stunt double is visible. What is a stunt double? A stunt double is a professional stuntman who needs to look really similar to the actor he performs for. For instance, he needs to have the same skin tone, he needs to be a similar size, and he needs to be similarly built. This way, he can be used to film action scenes in place of the actor. So why an actor won't do the work of a stunt double? Well, a stunt double is often asked to do the risky scenes, such as flips, action scenes that require risky moves, and tall jumps. This is when we expect the stunt double not to be visible for viewers. And in most cases, action scenes aren't close up on the actor's face, so it's not difficult for the stunt double to pass as the actor he performs for. Almost every TV show and film uses stunt doubles, but there are some actors who actually prefer to do these risky scenes all by themselves. Such actors include Harrison Ford, Tom Cruise, Keanu Reeves, Angelina Jolie, and Daniel Craig. Now, let's talk about Lucifer's stunt double and what his work requirements are, shall we? In an interview with Changing Channels, Mike Carpenter said he trains martial arts, diving, motorcycles, horseback, performance conditioning, acting, and so many other things in order to do his performance right. On the question if he has any behind-the-scenes stories to share for both Supernatural and Lucifer, the experienced stunt double said he prefers to keep those behind the scenes as he respects both Jared Padalecki and Tom Ellis. But he also said that guys like Tom Ellis and Jared Padalecki are the type of people that you can sit down with in a pub, eat a plate of nachos, and enjoy a football game, whether that be English or American. Now guys, let's talk about mistakes. Lucifer is a show with plenty of great scenes, an amazing plot, and even more amazing storylines and talented actors. Based on what we previously said, being a stunt double is a quite difficult job. And thanks to these guys, we saw some of the best scenes in cinema history. However, just like every person, they also make mistakes. But in this case, the mistake made in Lucifer is made by the editing team. So without further ado, let's get into it. Tom Ellis' stunt double spotted. Welcome home. How do you like the mess I made? As one of Netflix's most popular shows, a lot of people watch Lucifer. And as the show was about to release its last season, some fans noticed a huge mistake in a crucial fight scene between the devil and his twin brother, Michael. The fifth season of Lucifer was without a doubt one of the best seasons of the show so far. But when an eagle-eyed fan went through Lucifer and Michael's major fight scene, he saw something that the editing team somehow missed. Lucifer Morningstar and his twin brother Michael brought things to a whole nother level in the season's finale with the most difficult fight order of the series. The exciting fifth season was really great with its technical accomplishments, mostly thanks to the leading man Tom Ellis' double role as the two twin brothers. The special effects team will have to be really careful from now on. As the four opponents were fighting, time was slowed down to stop human observers from seeing something they shouldn't. And the scene also included some really impressive moves that we haven't seen before. Then, a viewer realized there's a mistake in the impressive sequence. User Pace Much posted on Reddit, quote, I was watching Season 5, Episode 8, and noticed this isn't even Lucifer as Michael. Anyone else saw that? This is clearly one of the most important scenes in the show, and as Lucifer is thrown through a pane of glass, you can see Tom Ellis' stunt double when the episode is paused. Another fan on Reddit said that it's not Tom Ellis flying through the window either. It isn't him until they focus when he's on the ground. According to another group of fans, Tom Ellis's face had been grafted onto the stunt double with editing. They explained, quote, Funny though, in a COSA VFX video where they explain how the scene was made, they clearly show that they put Tom's face on the guy's body. 
It looks like Ellis's stunt double kept his own image because the insert shot was believed to be too quick for us to notice. COSA is the company responsible for the show's special effects in season one. And when the show was later saved by Netflix and moved from Fox to the popular platform, a lot of fans noticed a major improvement in special effects and CGI. Great examples are Lucifer's wings and Devil Face. However, if you don't pay much attention, this mistake can be easily missed. Have you guys noticed this before watching the video? Also, is there any other mistake you noticed in Lucifer? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, smack that like button. Now, let's see for which scenes does Tom Ellis refuse to work with a stunt double. Tom Ellis does his own unclothed scenes. Lost. I just want to get back to work. The detective is clearly in denial. Help me. Take it slowly. Oh, Tom Ellis and his devilish ways. Season four of Lucifer featured a lot of scenes with, um, the actor being naked. And back then, the actor spoke about these nude scenes and how he feels about them. Fans of the show know how difficult it is to wait for a new season, especially when the franchise was once canceled by Fox, and then, thanks to fans, saved by Netflix. And today, we're waiting for the last, final season of Lucifer, which will premiere in September of this year. Some fans were worried when Netflix picked up the show, since they thought they'll see some major changes, but Tom has explained why the new network is the perfect place for Lucifer to stay. He said, quote, We can swear if we want to, and we can show more flesh. We also need to mention that Lucifer's devil face is only edited on Ellis, and no CGI was used for it. It's really amazing how much technology has grown in that department. As Ellis told Vulture, it used to be a difficult process with him and a green screen. Now, the actor doesn't have to do any of that. According to him, it barely takes a few minutes. The only thing he has to use is a few tracking dots on his face with a bald cap. And now, let's talk about those really popular nude scenes. As it looks like Lucifer is really free now that he's on Netflix, he enjoys naked scenes more than ever, and Tom explained what he thinks about this change. Ellis mentioned that that's all his own nudity. Back when season four was about to be filmed, the actor actually lost a bet to his trainer, which meant he had to get back into a different kind of shape than he'd been in before. So, as Ellis stated, quote, I had a moment of pride with how I felt and how I looked. I wasn't against the idea of nudity. What do you guys think about this? Also, share your thoughts about the stunt double mistake that happened in season five of Lucifer. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.